Now let's explore some Nifi Toolkit client command that will help us to better manage our parameter context. So the first command that we have it's import parameter context. So before we do this, let's before we go through this, let's go ahead and clean up all our parameter context that we have. Let's open our terminal command line and let's jump back into our uh, toolkit. We can explore the options uh, that the NiFi toolkit provides us. So in regards to the parameters, so the way you do it, you just type NiFi param and press tab. This will give back all the options that we have to interact with our NiFi instance in regards to creating and managing parameter context. So the first command we have is NiFi import parameter context. So let me talk more about this. So basically, uh, it receives an incoming JSON uh, configuration file, and then we pass base URL. In this case, what is the location of the instance? To run this command, basically, um, it will look at, uh, it will read this parameter underscore to JSON file, and will create a new parameter context in NiFi. So let's run this command. This will return us the value this is a unique identifier, basically. If we were to ex examine how this uh, JSON looks like, this is, this is the format. We have the name, we have the description, and the parameters. It's going to be a list in this case. And then inherited parameter context, if such. We're going to talk about this uh, uh, later in this tutorial. The parameters, they have or uh, attributes. The name, the description, is it sensitive, true or false, and the value it carries. Let's see more commands. So first, let's list the parameter context that we have. So the command is nifi list, pretty straightforward, parameter context. So this one will give us a list of the existing parameter context in our nifi instance. If we were to add or set a new parameter into an existing parameter context, the command will be nifi set parameter and it requires the parameter ID. So the, the option is param context ID. Let's copy this context ID here, give it a space. The parameter name that we want to add, so in this case is going to be, let's call it new param01, uh, and the value that it will carry. And it's going to be my param value. All right. Now we don't get any return back like that unique identifier. Let's observe if the change was made into our parameter context. So we can see that he added the new parameter with my new parameter value. All right, cool. That that that's good. Now let's get rid of this value. The way you do it, it's nifi delete parameter param. Sorry, I'm saying parameter, but it's param. Followed by the parameter ID, parameter context ID in this case, and the parameter name that we want to get rid of. We're going to go and double check that. We can see that that parameter is no longer present into our parameter context. Now, let's go ahead and explore more options. What about how we export a parameter context? So, let's say you have an existing parameter context in your uh, NIFI environment and you want to take a copy of it so you can import it into another environment. So we have a command for that. It's called nifi export parameter context, followed by the parameter context ID. Paste this one in, and the flag output file. And this receives a location you want it to store it. So it's going. Let's put it in our case. Let's put it to opt, and let's call it param export.json and run this command. You're not going to get any reply back, but if we were to check this file, let's jump in a new terminal and let's navigate to our opt folder. 
and we can see we have a new file created here. So let's explore this file. Let's open it. Basically, it has the same format as the one we just showed earlier. That's the way we export a parameter context. In the next example, we're going to see how we can read the parameter context in our command line, basically. So let's use the same parameter context. So let's type the option, the command. So the command is pretty straightforward. Now if I get parameter context, followed by the parameter context ID option and the value. So this will return us a tabular format. We can also do this with an option OT and type JSON. This is going to be a bit more of a boss, but it's easier to programmatically consume. All right, so we saw how we can get the parameter context. Let's say we have a parameter context and we want to be able to associate it with an existing processing group. But I want to do it programmatically. So let's jump into NIFI here. Let's create a new process group and let's call it uh, new PG. All right, so we have this one. Let's click on it and select this, select its identifier. And let's see how we can associate our uh, parameter context to that new process group, processor group. If we click on it, uh, and we go to option, we can see that no parameter context is allocated to it. So let's leave it on there. Let's jump into our terminal and let's see what is the command for this. So basically, again, you start with NIFI PG set parameter context. And this one receives two attributes. One is the parameter context ID of the parameter context we want to associate with context. ID and the value of that particular parameter context. So let me just copy and paste it in, followed by the process group ID flag. So it's pro this group ID and the copied process group ID that we copied from the UI. Press enter. Not going to get a return, but if we're going to go into the UI, and do a refresh, double click on it. Let's go to the settings. And now we can see that parameter context has been associated with our uh, process group. Final command, how can we find what parameter context it's associated to my process group? This is useful for multiple reasons. You know, you want to programmatically check what is associated with what process group. So the command is NIFI PG get and you guessed it parameter context followed by the process group id flag and the value of the process group that we want to interrogate this one returns me parameter context value and if we want to chain it we're pretty much going to do nifi get parameter context followed by the parameter context flag and the return value from NIFI get parameter context. And this one will give us the value. This wraps up our NIFI toolkit integration with parameter context. In the next tutorial, we're going to touch on inheritance and how that is useful for our NIFI ecosystem.